So what happens when you get all sorts of family from two ends of the country visiting Branson? Find out! We got the 70 Dark Dark Ride. I actually did this last summer. You can see they've actually added a full huge arcade over here. There's all sorts of things. But we're going to take this pack of people, yes, all of them, and we're going to go hit the mirror maze. Well, hopefully not hit, although that does tend to happen in a mirror maze. You do tend to run into walls. Oh, this could be interesting. No walls for me. Strangely similar to somebody I know. Yeah, me. Wait, there he is. Get a picture. They could be twins. <laughs> so we put gloves on to make sure that we don't rub the walls and make ourselves filthy. <laughs> this is how you know where you don't go. Oh, oh Matthew, hold Matthew. Oh, no. uh, Matthew, don't go too far ahead. Oh no, I lost Matthew. I'm dead. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Matthew. Over here. This is weird. I don't like it. I see Matthew in all You've never done something like this before? No, I see Matthew in all directions. Are you upset? Hey, Naomi. Mannequin! Monsters! Clowns! Hey. Yeah. I found him! I found him! I found him! I found him. Look! It's the farmer! Hey, there's the farmer. You want a piece of meat? You want a piece of meat? One of our next stops was Bigfoot on the Strip. Yeah, we got some people about to get launched. <laughs> so what'd you think? <laughs> okay, so what's your thoughts? So who was it I heard squealing? <laughs> Alright, so next shot, gravity bomb. And on this one, they're going all the way up there, where they'll hang for a little while. You ready? Ready to have your Taco Bell again? All right, team, are we ready? Close enough? Okay, good. Bye. Don't die. So are you awake now? <laughs> okay, so which did you like better? I don't know. This one had way more suspense and I was more terrified going up. Later that day, we decided to split up a little bit. The ladies went out and they had a little bit of personal time getting pedicures and manicures and aw, oh, so much fun. Don't their feet look pretty? Meanwhile, us guys, we took the pack of kids and we headed off to Fritz's Adventure for a day of adventure. Yes, Matthew screams like a girl. And he is already chickened out. You didn't even last 10 seconds. It's a height. I don't like heights. <laughs> but they've got airplanes and all sorts of stuff here. Lots of fun. This is kind of neat. If you climb all the way up, they've got this airplane sitting up here. And you, know, you kind of look at it and, is this a real plane? <laughs> well, the answer is actually, yes, it is a real plane. As we watch Matthew take off on the zip line again. Yeah, the one afraid of heights. 
But yes, you can come in here. So as they climb up, you see Gwen's right about to the rope bridge. Of course, it helps if you know how to climb. Matthew's over there getting strapped up into his harness. Here's the rest of the crew getting ready to go. Meanwhile, Matthew is up there somewhere. Matthew finally begins to conquer his fears. has looked at this one and said nope not gonna do it and it's taken on to the wall oh Naomi's gonna finally do it here Up there. Try number three or four. Let's see if he makes it this time. There we go. <laughs> that was sad. The master. Whoa, slide, slide. <laughs> <laughs> this is the laser maze. They're getting ready to go in. And then we get to see their progress right up there. Let's see if they can make it. This is what it looks like inside. There's Naomi trying not to die. And Quinn. Ever want to climb a telephone pole? Or how about just fall from a telephone pole? And now... Is she gonna fall? Is she gonna waver? Is she gonna miss her step? Don't fall, Naomi! <laughs> Thank you, Fritzes. It was awesome. Really fun. Fun. Was I was scared of the zip lining thing. And then, and then once you get, and then once you do it, it's really fun. It gets you okay. get used to it. And so, then everything the you do, tunnels. see, see, everything you do, it's scary at first, and then it ends up being fun. I made my own pathway so I can just like walk over it, and I'm not scared. Uh huh. So, Quinn, did you like it? Yes, but I don't want to leave. Okay, so would you guys want to come back and do it again sometime? Yes! Yeah. See, we still have our bands. You still have your bands? For a reason! So would you want to come back and do it again? Today, yeah. right now. All done with Fritz's. Kids had a great time, like him. So uh, I thought it was a really neat place. I was actually impressed by how many different things there were for the kids to do in it, more than I thought. Um, this is the guy who actually paid, so what do you think? Me! It was good! It it was was good. good. <laughs> but... I think that they need to find some way of helping people that are not participating. They yeah. charged us pretty high for Yeah, for us to basically sit and watch and take pictures, we were paying almost the full price admission. And, I mean, if you got to charge five bucks, but really, they're probably losing some families. 
because yeah. there's only two people doing stuff and they want to charge all four. Yeah. Other than but, that, it was great. But yeah, neat, neat place. Definitely a good place for school groups and birthday parties yes. and stuff. Time for Chick Fil A. Theater show tonight. It's going to be buckets and boards, which we're excited about. Aren't you excited? No. I don't know. I don't really but think buckets. What's going to need? We're at the Starlight Theater, and I actually have not been here before, and it's a pretty neat theater. Yeah. Right, Anna? Toby Matt. It's okay. Swing around a little bit. You can see the big glass ceiling, and there's a barbecue place here, and ice cream. I just and, got back. And Anna. Yes, I know. Well, the good news is you don't necessarily have to have Anna here, or that might be bad news, depending upon your views about Anna's. Right? <laughs> Ain't I a great uncle? <laughs> but uh, we've seen buckets of boards in the past, at least some of us have. For most of the family, it's going to be brand new, so looking forward to this. They're one of my favorites. Somebody just found out 21 Pilots released a new album. <laughs> So Naomi, what's wrong? <laughs> Top is back. Top is back. Do you understand what that means? Top. So wait, does that mean we need to get our wood tops out and start spinning them? This is what happens when you have a 13-year-old obsessed with 21 Pilots and just found out that they released their brand new album after a year. Did it notice that? It's a total spaz attack. Buckets and Boards is one of our favorite shows. We also then headed over and took in another show, The Chinese Acrobats. Oh, it's just so neat what they do. Just beautiful.
We had an absolute blast with family checking out the shows and other stuff. I hope you had a great time checking it out with us. Both shows are absolutely worth seeing, and we'd encourage you to do so. 